Hello there, hope you're doing well. This is Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to this episode on how to increase sluggishness and performance issues on any Android device. For this video, I am using a ZTE Z Max AT&T Go phone, but this does not really matter. It doesn't really matter what Android device you have. These tips should work for you. So let's hop right into the first one. Now the first one I want you guys to do, and uh, most Android veterans and most of you boys that be messing with the Android, girls too, let me mess with Android heavy, you know about Clean Master or CC Cleaner. So I usually use Clean Master but you can also get CC Cleaner, which is a PC optimized app, which is going to um, clean out RAM, storage, and all kinds of stuff in the background, AKA junk from your device. Now I use these applications because they clean out a lot of junk files that might be up in the background. So as you can see right here, here's an example. I got 905 megabytes of excess junk that is lagging my device. And a lot of people may say this is placebo, but trust me, if you're cleaning out 905 megabytes in the background, this is not placebo. That will definitely increase the performance of your device. Look, mine, mine has 1.2 gigabytes of data in the background. So that's the first tip on how to increase the performance on your Android device. All right, guys, the second way that I increase performance on my Android device, any one that it may be, is I go into settings and I scroll down till I get to about phone and I find where it says build number. And where it says build number, you just wanna go ahead and tap on that several times continuously until you see developer options enabled. And then you're gonna go back into your settings and go to developer options. And then what I do is I scroll down and I tweak these animations to 0.5 or zero, each one of them to 0.5 or zero or off if you really wanna go boss status. Now I know everybody who's heavy in the Android love knows how to do this, but there's also something else that most people don't talk about that also increases the performance. And it go, go down until you find background process limit. Now basically what this does is it limitates applications in the background to the set number. So you can only run four at most per se, and the phone will automatically shut down other stuff going on in the background, increasing your performance. So if you leave this at four, yes, you do limit the multitasking abilities, but you also simultaneously increase the performance of your Android device. So that's number two on my tips for increasing your performance. All right, guys, you might be saying, well, Nick, I tried those tips you just told me and it's still slower than hell. So what you wanna do now is check out this tip. Let's go into settings. Let's scroll down into, we see our applications. And uh, you wanna see what apps are downloaded on your phone. And some of these apps could be the culprit of why your performance is very bad. And the way you can figure out which one of these apps in your downloaded applications is the culprit of you know, causing performance jitters or you know, just the overall decrease in performance is by going into your battery settings. Let's see. It's gonna vary depending on what kind of phone you have, but go ahead and find your, you know, where you manage your power on your device and go to usage and check out which apps under whatever your battery usage monitor section looks like. And if you see any apps in here that's taking a considerable amount of space in battery life, that will also be applications that will be eating away at your performance. So that might be the culprit as well. So that's tip number three. All right, guys, my next tip on this list is going to be clearing cache data from your system settings. So you're going to want to go into your settings and you're going to want to scroll down until you get to storage. And when you get to storage, go down to your use space. Now, this might differ for you. You might see system cache available already in this menu if you're using something like a Samsung device or another skin device such as an LG device. But just find your use space and find, just find this right here in settings, cache data, let it calculate and uh, go ahead and clear this cache data. Now for me, it says 1.79 megs because I've been, I do this all the time. I love maintaining Android. It's so fun. But for this example, you might have 379 megabytes and this could be seriously slowing down your device. So just go ahead and click OK and hop back home and go ahead and clear out your uh, applications in the background and uh, go ahead and give it a run. Go ahead and test it out. Um, let's get on to the next tip. All right, guys, for this final tip, what I want you to do is go ahead and power off your device, first of all. 
Once you do that, we are going to boot this baby into recovery mode. And while it's powering off real quick, I'm going to bring out the Chromebook and I'm going to show you guys how to easily find out how to boot yours into recovery. So this might seem quite obvious, which it is, but you know what? Let's go ahead and do it anyway. So all I want you to do is go ahead and type in a quick Google search how to boot whatever your device is, which is why I'm spacing would be the blank right there. How to boot blank. Let's say you got a Galaxy S6. Galaxy S6 into recovery mode. It's this easy. And uh, it'll show you right here. Switch your Samsung Galaxy S to completely boot into recovery mode by holding volume down, power button, and all that. So let's get back to our device here. So on the ZTE, it's going to be volume up, power button. And when we hit that, we let go of the power button right away so we don't automatically reboot the system. Let it do its thing real quick. So we get into recovery mode, we keep holding down. And whatever your device is, like the Google search may differ. So first of all, all you wanna do is go ahead and wipe the cache partition. Do not mess with these other things. And you can do this by using the power button to you know perform the function and use the volume button. So be careful not to accidentally hit the power button on something else like a factory reset because you might mess your phone up. So just be careful of that. So go ahead, wipe the cache partition. I'm not going to do it because I already have done it. And this may take a while, so be patient with the cache partition wiping. And this should really, really speed up your device. That's why I saved it for last. Save the best for last. You know how it goes. And then we're gonna go up to, once we're done with the wiping the cache partition, it'll bring you back to this menu and you just wanna go ahead and reboot your system. So after all those increases in performance tips that I showed you, your Android device should be running like a champ. So anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and do me a favor and share this video with others in, you know, communities or just anybody you know, your friends, subscribers, so they can find some value in, you know, increasing their performance on their Android device. I call this basically my weekly maintenance. I do this every week on my Android devices, keeps them running flawlessly because I do believe that Android devices need to be maintained because they run so much more than, say, an iPhone does in the background. So anyway, guys, like I say, go ahead, hit that thumbs up down below if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more technology videos, and I will catch you all in the next episode. Have a great night, great morning, great day, wherever you are, and uh, peace.